In the first video, we added a PC, a laptop, and a switch. And we use the following IP addresses. Well, let's add to our network with the following. With the following addresses. A router, a printer, and a server. Let's add the printer first. Okay, to find printer, go to end devices and look for printer. And we'll just throw it up into our work area. We have to connect the printer to the switch. So print the connections, hop straight through, and we'll take the first available to the printer and fast Ethernet. Zero. Let's configure the printer. And again, we will use the address dot seven for the printer. So let's click on printer and configure. Fast Ethernet zero. IP address 192.168.1.7. And I will copy this because I am lazy. And I'll just click on the subnet mask and it updates automatically. I'll zoom in to show you. And exit out. It will save the changes. Okay, let's update the label on the printer. Just click on the label and control V. And since we're here, might as well update the PC label. Control P, but we gave the IP address of five, so backspace five. And the laptop, control P, backspace six. And since we're here, let's uh, name, rename the switch. Click on switch, go to configure, and display name. So now we have a PC, a laptop, and a printer with the IP addresses. So we can clearly see them while looking at our network. So let's look, let's, uh, uh, let's ping the printer. So if we can ping the printer, go to the PC, click on it, and go to desktop, command prompt, and I'll zoom in. Dot seven, which is the IP address of the printer, and sure enough, it does talk. So, if you don't like the the way the network is set up, you can always move the devices around, and you can also, with your left mouse button, draw a box around the network and move it around a little bit if you want to. But right here is fine for now. So let's add, since we added the router, let's add a print, uh, since we added the printer, let's add a router. So let's go to network devices, lower left hand corner. And you've dropped down to get routers, but let's use the wireless router, wireless devices. And we will use the WRT300N. And let's just throw it up here. And we have to connect the router to the switch, connections, and copper straight through the switch, first available to the switch, and Ethernet 1. Okay, let's configure the wireless router. And by the way, I want to give the router, I, the router 192.168.1.1 IP address, because when building a network, I like to have the router dot one and the server dot two five four. That way, when I go into a network, I, I, without even looking at the network, I know two things about the network already. In other words, it's easy to troubleshoot. So let's click on the wireless router and configure it. Configure. So we have the internet, LAN, and wireless. Well, let's look at the LAN part. And I'll zoom in. And if you notice, um, our IP address of the PC is, the third octet is one. 
So we should be, have the router on the same network. So let's change this to a one. So it's on the same network. And just exit out. And I'll copy this. And update the label on the router. Okay, let's ping the router from the PC. Go to command prompt. And we'll zoom in. 192.168.1.1, because I like to put the router as the first address. And it is talking. So let's add a server, and we'll use 254 as the IP address. So lower left-hand corner, and devices. And if you look over to the right-hand side, you'll see server. And we'll add the server right here. And we will use the, we have to connect the server up to the switch. So connections, copper straight through, switch to the router. Fastly then at zero. And let's configure the router with the 254 IP address. Click on the server, configure. Fast Ethernet 0, IP address, control V, backspace 254, and click in the subnet mask and it updates automatically. Let's update the label on the server, control V, backspace 254. Okay, let's configure the PC and the laptop to show that we've added the router and server. So I'll click on PC and IP configuration. We haven't gone, we haven't been here yet, but we will show you. I'll show you what to do. IP configuration, default gateway. We will use the IP address of our router for the default gateway. Control P. And for the DNS server, we will use the IP address of the server, which is 254. So control V, backspace 254. And we will do the same thing for the laptop. Click on the laptop, configure, or desktop, I'm sorry, desktop, IP configuration, default gateway, the IP address of our router and in a server the IP address of our server backspace 254 and exit out okay let's let's uh, ping the the printer the server and the router from the PC click on the PC command prompt and I'll zoom in so up arrow, we already did this, but I'll do it again. And of course it is talking. So up arrow, backspace seven, the IP address of our printer, enter. And it is talking. Let's, let's uh, ping the server, up space, up, up arrow, backspace two, five, four the IP address of our server, and enter. It is talking. So we have a network that has a server, printer, two clients, and a router with a switch connected to a switch. In the next video, we will do some surfing.